we're off. More sail! Strike of the tune. Let's go. Let's hear a story. The last time we were docked, I saw two drunk ass Odin warriors take a I often think on Estrid in my time in Essex. I was almost we'll pick up from there. I often think on Estrid and my time in Essex. I was almost a year younger. And more foolhardy then. Once the sight of her filled me with tempest. But those storms have calmed now. She did not giggle nor swoon like many girls I know. Wit was her weapon. She could unman you with one swipe of her tongue. But such grace, such light. Freya herself would not step with such elegance. Her gaze blinded me. Her words cut me down, raised me up. Made me a wolf, a lamb, a babe, a sage. Wiser men than me have been made fools by love. But not all of them take the lesson from it that I have. When I marry, I will take an equal. No more, no less. A woman worthy of me, as I will be of her. When I was a girl, I tied threads to my mother's cats and screamed. The cock got right through Valhalla! Why is it when we grow old, we stop telling ourselves the most fantastic stories? Why is it we stop believing we can command the gods? We Run are the true dramas of our own creations. Our own friendly Seder. For the dark Seder. The political Seder. When we are children, we are the nobles of our little world. The rulers of moments, the glory of glee. And if I have learned anything from all of my battles, all of my wars, my days, my regrets, my victories, I always take the time to have fun. I do not apologize for it. So save your stupidest war cry for me. Birna, lover of strangeness. <laughs> You Salskjolls got a story. I once sat down and spoke to Saxon priest. Not as men with different gods, but as drunk men. Curious? I questioned him. He claimed we might believe differently in who sits amongst the clouds. But our beliefs are not so different in nature. After all, they too look to the gods for answers. Where we have many, they have just one. <laughs> Only need one, I suppose. So I asked him, oh, is your god truly so powerful? We see the dark clouds and know Thor's furious at Sinjus Midgard. But I had yet to witness their god's primal powers. What were they? Did he bring bountiful harvests or boons? The priest said that his god was Let everywhere and I everything. Am. I did not understand it then. Maybe I still do not. But there is an undeniable vigor. A strength in their idea of heaven. Believing that their lives will one day be better still. Even Look, with us cleaving through it. In over there. Hope, Abel. Hope. I think that is what their God brings them. <laughs> I 
had an odd friend when I was a boy. His name was Nori. And by the gods, that boy could lie. Told us his father traded with the elves. Told us he had kissed sweet Anna. Said he had seen a giant in the woods. Well, one day we decided we would see about him. So we dared him to take us to the place he saw the giant. He twisted and turned, but at last he agreed. The thing is, I had been out there already. I had taken off a big rock and made footprints in the soft earth. Heels and toes. <laughs> Giant's feet. When he saw those prints, he went white as a virgin's breeches. Everyone made out they were scared. And then... Who's that walking through my wood? I howled from the trees, and I thrashed the branches all around. Nori screamed like a maiden and took to his heels. By the smell of it, he emptied his arse on the way. He told us afterwards he knew it was a trick. But he never did go near those woods again. Close the oars! No shame! We need an epic tale. I will tell you this. No one is born with the gift Lower of Odin's birds. One must work, suffer, to learn the skill of fighting. When you look like I do, and do not hit as hard as the young oaks, you must find Set different ways to survive. Long time ago, on youth's smooth path, I came into the company of an old skull. He wrote sagas for the Jarls of the region. He had fallen into trouble with some of the locals, and I could not stand by and watch him take a beating. So I stepped in. Six men attacked me, and I was swiftly put down. For that, the old skald bought me ale, and invited me to join him on his travels. I was to help him with physical errands and be a second ear to his compositions. In turn, he would teach me how to compose verse. We would spar with words, and he taught me about wordsmithing new kennings. Those were good days. Scant, though they were. I wish to write sagas on my own now, but I have never had the inspiration. It may be my journey is here to serve that purpose. I had a sweetheart once, a long time back. A fine lady I had known since I was a boy. Now, believe it or not, there was a time when I was easy on the eyes. The girl and I, we ran off together. We were discovered. She had been promised to another, and that man had found us. We fled, but had nowhere to run. I told the girl to hide, but she did not. She was convinced he would not harm me. A word from her, and he would leave us. Sadly, she was wrong. Vengeance gripped his mind. To restore his lost honor, he challenged me to a home gunga. I was nothing but a young lad. There was no win. I knew that. My sweetheart encouraged me to fight. I could see in her eyes she believed in me. But my knocking knees drowned out all sound. I ran. I ran to the sounds of a is useless here. A barbed words cursing me to a coward's painful death. Words I vowed to never hear again. So I never ran. No! I'm on a from anything. I stand and fight, always prepared to die. Yeah. Close the oars, no sail. Epic a tale than the story of how I found my ship. Glorious fire the mast. Remember her? It was a surprise. I was pissed drunk one night, could barely stand, and up comes this young upstart day, fresh up a lucky raid, to fight me, challenged to a brawl. He was thirsting for a bruising for no reason I could see. I warned him off, gave him a chance to walk. His companions were with him. 
egging him on. And this little shit bellowed into the drunken night that he would wager his ship. I had nothing to lose but my mourning. If I fell, I would suffer a bruise and walk away. If I won, I would have a ship. As soon as I accepted, he charged me barehanded. Cocky bastard. So I raised my fists and stumbled forward. With my first step, I slipped, plunging to the sand. I fell forward thinking, there go my dreams of riding the whale road alone. But the brat slipped too, landed on his face, knocking him cold. I'm told he did not wake for a full day. Long after I had sailed away. <laughs> when I came to England with the sons of Ragnar, I believed it would be a brief raid, a swift adventure out on the open sea. I loved that first crossing, sliding over the blue expanse, sea spray wet in my face, hungry for new lands and adventures. Memories of home always drew me back, distracted me. For it is there where all the worst parts of my life occurred. It took too long to look ahead. How you doing? But I do now. Let's put in here. Half dance and big. So quiet here. Is everyone at the longhouse? where you belong. Oh, I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me? Yeah. Once or twice, I hear. What? It took you time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Ranvi, Ranvi will tell you. Oh, yeah. We'll see. My dear wife, brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch, Fulke, do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen, what I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war, a Roman Mars. I know who I am, I know my destiny, and you will not hinder me! Brother... Forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Stand with <clears throat> cheer, one and all. Today is a day of celebration. Our Jarl is with us. Basim, will you not join us? In time, I may celebrate, but tonight is a melancholy mood. I would rather sit here quietly, alone, with my thoughts. I understand. Mm. Do not let Sigurd's present mood upset you. He spoke warmly of you as we sailed here. I believe he still trusts you more deeply than he can express. We trust each other. That is clear. Enjoy the feast, Eivor. Ranvi, Sigurd has been through so much. Be patient with him. Of course. I cannot imagine. The savagery of that woman, Folke. For all her wretchedness, she seemed to... to like him. I know that sounds strange. How do you mean? She claimed to know him, to admire him. Said he was a greater man than we could ever know. Yet for all her praise, she tortured him to the brink of madness and death. 
I do not understand why. In time, Sigurd may come around. And if he does, he may be willing to speak. Before that time, it would be best to keep all discussions about... ...about us... ...to yourself. Of course. Now is not the time. I have no guilt, no regret for what we have done. But we should be careful. Agreed. Thank you. And know that, however far away... ...you are always in my thoughts. I know. I feel the same. Where is Sigurd gone? I need your eyes, my friend. dark. There you are, brother. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. Then he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid, unblemished. I offered him a way out, but... Shh. Say nothing more of the past, it is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. For all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand, but all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... I don't know what that means. Look. This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend. Return to where he is loved and cherished. Where he's meant to be. You are kind. But your eyes are clouded by the past. A place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. Seems the wind calls me back to Randy. Best tell her the good news. <laughs> <laughs> 